Uh, there's so much talk about EVs in China. You have some pretty ambitious plans, doubling your annual deliveries to 250,000 units. You want to break even for most of your businesses this year, and you, reach, you want to reach group profitability next year. How does NIO achieve those goals? Uh, I think let me start with the sales volume. We are very confident to achieve our sales target in mm. 2023 mm. by focusing on three key actions. First, broaden the product portfolio. We are going to launch five new models based on our new technology platform 2.0 in the middle of this year. After transitioning all the models to NT2 platform, we will be, offer, we'll be able, able to offer eight models, mm -hmm. complementary and competitive in diversified market segments. Mm -hmm. Second, expand the charging and the swapping network. We plan to deploy additional 1,000 power source stations in China along the highways and in sub-tier cities with high potential. Mm. By doing this, we are able to access more markets and offer better recharging experience for existing users. Third, unlock the value of AD technologies. You know, every new, we, are, we plan to roll out more advanced features based on our in-house full-stack AD technologies, which come standard on every new NT2 vehicles. Mm. We believe a better AD experience will help our users to enjoy a better driving experience. Mm. Then we come to the, so in short for the sales volume, the key for sales volume growth is competitive products with experience beyond expectation. Mm. And then we move on to the profitability. Yeah. Very simple things, two things. Mm. First, focus on efficiency. Okay. All teams need to work very closely to launch the five new models. Mm. Second, fine tune the pace. The match team yeah. monitors the market dynamics very closely mm. and make lesser changes in an agile way right. based on our strategic prioritization. Yeah. So in short, strong revenue growth together with tight spending okay. are the key for the improvement of our profitability. Well, that, that's a basic equation, sales costs. Yep. By the way, the market's looking at you and that you're on set and we're up 7.7, 7, 6.7%. <laughs> okay. So they're, they're happy with what they see. They're oh, yeah. Now, here's the next question. They might be happy depending on what your answer is. Are you going to be profitable by next year? Yes. Okay. Wait, I think we are confident for the group level to break even next year. Okay. Okay. Now, what are, what are your plans as far as you talked about volumes? Yeah. What are your plans on pricing? Because mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's this somewhat of a price war going on in, in, some, in some segments, of course, of the EV market in China. What are your plans around pricing your models? Um, I think the short answer is that mm -hmm. Neil always try to maintain a very stable price system. Okay. I would say actually in the last year and this year, mm -hmm. China auto market is going through a very profound reshuffle thanks to the increasing EV penetration. Mm -hmm. So in the end, price war will lead to industry consolidation. But for Neil, I think we would like to differentiate ourselves by compared products, innovative technologies, comprehensive power infrastructure, and vibrant user community. Mm. So are you planning mm. more cuts or you, you want to keep things stable, as you said? I would say for existing models, we will keep this, the price very stable. And for new models, we need to follow the market very closely. Oh. Yeah, I was going to ask you about battery prices, which yes. you know, NEO yeah. among everyone globally has been suffering from. We yeah. saw lithium carbonate sliding now. Yeah. How does that affect your business strategies? The short answer is the lithium price decline will contribute to my margin growth. Listen price has risen sharply in the past year and peaked in Q4 2022, mm. which has adversely impacted the whole EV industry. And recently, as you have just said, the listen price has started to decline gradually, yeah. and we expect the listen price continue to drop to a reasonable. Mm. And in the long run, with more steady supply growth, we believe the leasing price we can continue to drop to a reasonable level and this is good for the whole EV industry mm. especially for premium BEV mm. typically with a higher capacity battery packs.